In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to give you some tips on working with overlays. An overlay is basically a layer which contains preset information that you can layer on top of your photograph. And you can use more than one overlay. We'll show you how to do that. To get to editing and overlays, I have to move from the library button at the top over to the edit button. And then I'm going to click on the right side on the wand with a star, which is my guided tools options. And in the guided tools, the second item from the bottom is decorations category. Right now it only contains one, which is overlay. It has a dot by the word means I have not downloaded every single element that's available in overlay, but we'll click on it anyway and I'll show you. That will open up my overlay screen. Now if I click in the upper left corner and minimize the lights, you'll see I have many categories of overlays. And in each of these, there are some that I have not yet downloaded every single one that's available. So let's go into a couple of them and see what we can do. Let's go to the cute decoration overlay pack. And let's take this element here. You notice it has a, an arrow, a down arrow on the lower right corner. That means I can download it. I simply click on it. And then right now it's downloaded. To apply it, I double click on it and it will put it on the screen. Now the overlays come in with 75% opacity. I'm not sure why they do it that way, but I always crank it up to 100 so I can see them better. So now I have this overlay applied. Now, if I can also use the area under number two here to do some masking that will control what parts uh, the overlay is applied to and what parts are not. The default is to have the center button of the three on the left active. So when I drag it over here, I can, I can draw and I can create a mask where I remove whatever part of the overlay I don't want, for example, on this young woman. That's one way to do that. I'll do control Z to undo that. Another way to do that is to use the element on the left side, which selects the most prominent object. So let's do that. It will automatically look for that and it made a special mask just for the gal. I can also reverse that by clicking on the brush and verse tool. And now she is in the overlay and none of the overlay applies to anything else. I can go back and forth as much as I want. If I want to add something back in, I can change the mask by using the brush erase tool that will remove areas from my mask. And I can drag over again and I will find other elements that are now, now not masked and part of the overlay. Another thing I can do with the overlay is I can change it. When I click on Enable Template Resize, that gives me a, the ability to move the overlay because it's bigger than my photo. And if I drag it left and right, I get to see all the elements and up and down that are in the overlay. I can also resize it. I can go bigger and I can go smaller to some degree and move it around and decide what do I want as part of the overlay and where do I want it on the image. We can also rotate it. If I click on this, it rotates 90 degrees every time you click on it. Now it's all upside down. And I can also flip horizontally or vertically, which doesn't make a lot of sense when you have text. So that's an example. There's another button that says preview with all layers, but that will not work until I have at least one layer saved. So we're going to do that. So let's click back into this panel here. So I'm going to turn off my enable template size. Now I can go back here and I can take my template and use my brush or use my automatic settings. Let's assume that this is how we want it to look. I'm going to reset. I can reset everything by clicking on the button at the bottom or I can click on OK. Let's click on OK. And that takes us back to our previous screen where you see that we have actually added this layer. That's all it is. It's a brand new customized layer. I can turn it on or off or I can delete the whole thing. Now you can stack overlays. So let's click on overlay again. Let's go to a different option here. Let's go to the uh, lights and stars and click on this one here. 
Now I've added another layer. Now what I can do with that layer is the same thing I could do before. I can click on the brush settings and it will take her out of that particular layer. It will mask her. I can modify the mask if I want. Now you notice it didn't do exactly the job I would have done here, so I can mask more in this case because it's looking at the layer beneath it as well. But now that I already have one layer saved that's, that is an overlay layer, when I turn this off, you're going to see something. Okay, there is a picture of my mask and there's a picture of my layer. This is really helpful if you're using multiple layers because when I enable the template resize, now I'm going to be able to see exactly where that mask is, where that layer effect is on the screen. Okay, so we'll turn that off again and get back to normal size. Let's assume that we like that. We're going to preview it with everything. Click on OK. And we could go back again to the overlay room for a third time. And you can add as many of these layers as you want to. We'll click it again. Let's turn the opacity back up to 100% so we see this heart. Let's say we don't want it in front of her face, so we'll take it out here and click on OK. Now once you're done, what you can do, if you know your skill in working with layers, is you can take any of the layers out that you don't want, remove them, and if you want to go back and add that same overlay again on a different layer, edit it slightly differently, mask it differently, you can do that. So that's a, a little bit of working with overlays in PhotoDirector 365.